Hey everybody, this is Dave Rob from Break My Legs. And some of you viewers have been asking for a video on proportions. So today's video covers proportional ratios to determine your symmetry. The three main ratios I'm going to cover are number one, arm to body ratio, number two, inner limb ratio, that's tibia divided by femur length, and three, leg to body ratio. First, I will take my own measurements, then I will show you the formula for symmetry, and then I will compare mine to the formula. After seeing this, you will have an understanding of the formulas, and you can take your own measurements to compare. So here I'm taking my height, which came out to 73 inches, which is six feet and one inch. Here I'm taking my wingspan, which was 70 inches, which comes out to 5 feet and 10 inches. I'm measuring my femur bone here, which came out to 22 inches. My tibia measured out at 15 inches. Formula number one, arm to body ratio. My wingspan was 70 inches divided by my height of 73 inches. So I got 0.96, meaning my wingspan was just a little bit shorter because it's supposed to be an even length with your height. Formula number two, inner limb ratio, which is tibia divided by femur, it should come out to 0.75. My tibia was 15 inches divided by my 22 inch femur. My femurs were a little longer than they should be, so my average came to 0.68. Number three, leg to body ratio. This is femur plus tibia divided by height. My femur and tibia together were 37 inches divided by my height of 73 inches. I got 0.51, meaning my legs were just a little bit longer than the formula. Just for your own understanding, my surgeon did say that lengthening the femurs affect your proportions the least, recover the fastest, and have the least complications. Plus, they're $5,000 cheaper to lengthen than the tibias. Well, that's my video for today. If you liked it, press like, and please subscribe. I'm pushing for 200 subscribers. I hope you liked the video, and I will have another one coming out very soon.